Hello everyone! Welcome back to Computer Hackers. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss. Ethical Hacking 101. In this video, we will provide you with an introduction to penetration testing and ethical hacking. So let's dive right in. Before we delve into ethical hacking, let's start by understanding what it actually means. Ethical hacking, also known as penetration testing or white hat hacking, is a practice of testing computer systems, networks, and applications for vulnerabilities. The goal is to identify weaknesses before malicious hackers exploit them. Ethical hackers, often referred to as security professionals or penetration testers, use their skills and knowledge to perform authorized hacking activities to assess and improve the security posture of organizations. It's important to highlight that ethical hacking is done with the owner's consent and with the purpose of safeguarding systems, data, and user privacy. Ethical hacking, also known as white hat hacking or penetration testing, refers to the practice of intentionally and lawfully exploiting vulnerabilities in computer systems, networks, or web applications to identify and address security weaknesses. Ethical hackers, often employed by organizations or hired as consultants, use their technical skills and knowledge to uncover vulnerabilities before malicious hackers can exploit them. The main objective of ethical hacking is to improve the security posture of a system or network by identifying and fixing vulnerabilities. This process involves conducting controlled attacks and using various hacking techniques to simulate real-world cyber threats. By uncovering weaknesses, ethical hackers can help organizations understand their vulnerabilities and take appropriate measures to enhance their security defenses. Now that we have a basic understanding, let's explore the fundamental concepts and methodologies used in ethical hacking. Concepts and methodologies. The first concept we need to grasp is reconnaissance. It involves gathering information about the target system, network, or application. This step helps ethical hackers understand the potential vulnerabilities and weak points that could be exploited. Techniques such as footprinting, scanning, and enumeration are used to collect this information. After reconnaissance, the next step is to find and exploit vulnerabilities. Vulnerability assessment and exploitation go hand in hand in ethical hacking. Various tools and techniques are used to identify weaknesses in systems, such as outdated software versions, misconfigurations, or insecure coding practices. Once vulnerabilities are found, ethical hackers simulate attacks to exploit these weaknesses and gain unauthorized access. Another crucial aspect of ethical hacking is maintaining access. Once a hacker successfully breaches a system, the goal is to retain. Once a hacker successfully breaches a system, the goal is to retain access for further analysis and testing. This allows ethical hackers to delve deeper into the system, understand its architecture, and identify additional vulnerabilities. By maintaining access, they can also gather valuable information about the system's security controls and potential avenues for exploitation. However, it's essential to emphasize that ethical hackers never cause harm or damage to the systems they test. They follow strict rules of engagement and ensure that any actions they take are within the boundaries defined by the organization. This distinction between ethical hackers and malicious hackers is what sets the practice apart as a legitimate and responsible approach to cybersecurity. Once ethical hackers have completed their testing and analysis, the next step is reporting. This involves documenting all the vulnerabilities, weaknesses, and recommendations for improving the system's security. A comprehensive report is prepared, detailing the findings, potential risks, and suggested countermeasures. This report is then shared with the organization's management or security team, enabling them to take appropriate actions to mitigate the identified vulnerabilities. Now that we have covered the basic concepts and methodologies, let's discuss some of the key skills required to become an ethical hacker. Skills required. Host. Ethical hacking demands a combination of technical skills, knowledge, and ethical responsibility. Let's take a look at some of the essential skills that an ethical hacker should possess. First and foremost, a solid understanding of computer networks, operating systems, and programming languages is crucial. 
Ethical hackers need to be well-versed in various network protocols, such as TCP slash IP, as well as have a deep knowledge of common operating systems like Windows, Linux, and MakeOS. Proficiency in programming languages, such as Python, Java, or C++, is also vital for ethical hackers. They use programming to develop scripts, automate tasks, and create custom tools for their testing and analysis. In addition to technical skills, ethical hackers must possess strong problem-solving and analytical abilities. They need to think like attackers, anticipate potential vulnerabilities, and devise creative ways to exploit them. Attention to detail is also essential, as ethical hackers often need to dig deep into system configurations and code to identify weaknesses. Communication skills are equally important for an ethical hacker. They must be able to effectively communicate their findings, both orally and in writing, to technical and non-technical stakeholders. Writing clear and concise reports and explaining complex technical concepts in a simple manner is a skill that helps bridge the gap between security professionals and organizational decision makers. Finally, ethical hackers should have a continuous thirst for knowledge and a commitment to staying updated with the latest security trends, tools, and techniques. The field of cybersecurity is rapidly evolving, and ethical hackers need to adapt and learn continuously to stay ahead of potential threats. Now that we have explored the key skills required, let's discuss the importance of ethical hacking in today's digital landscape. Importancy of ETAXETALHACKING In an increasingly interconnected world where cyber threats are on the rise, ethical hacking plays a vital role in ensuring the security of organizations, systems, and data. By proactively identifying vulnerabilities, ethical hackers help prevent unauthorized access, data breaches, and other cyber attacks. Ethical hacking, also known as white hat hacking, is a practice where authorized individuals use their skills to identify vulnerabilities in computer systems, networks, and applications. While some may question the ethics of hacking, it is crucial to understand that ethical hacking plays a vital role in safeguarding our digital infrastructure. Absolutely, ethical hacking acts as a preemptive measure against potential cyber threats. By identifying vulnerabilities before malicious hackers can exploit them, ethical hackers help organizations and individuals prevent data breaches, financial losses, and reputational damage. Ethical hacking also plays a pivotal role in promoting a culture of security awareness. By conducting controlled and authorized hacking attempts, ethical hackers expose the weaknesses in systems and educate stakeholders about the importance of implementing robust security measures. That's a great point. Ethical hacking not only helps in identifying vulnerabilities, but also assists in developing and implementing effective security strategies. Through their findings, ethical hackers contribute to the improvement of security systems, enhancing resilience against cyber attacks. Moreover, ethical hacking plays a crucial role in compliance with regulatory standards and industry best practices. Many sectors, such as finance, healthcare, and government, have strict security requirements. Ethical hackers assist organizations in meeting these standards, ensuring the protection of sensitive data and maintaining public trust. Absolutely, ethical hacking serves as a critical component of risk management. By proactively assessing vulnerabilities, organizations can allocate resources effectively and prioritize security measures to mitigate potential risks. This proactive approach helps in preventing costly incidents and minimizing the impact of cyber threats.